Hey, welcome to the first video on the channel. This is actually a break off of my main channel, Sith Citadel. Here it is, if you're curious. But with House of the Dragon Season 2 coming out soon, I wanted to make a channel that covers all of the lore of Westeros. So today's video will be about Daemon Targaryen. But before we begin, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get straight into it. Just to give a quick recap, Prince Daemon Targaryen was a member of House Targaryen and the younger son of Prince Balon Targaryen and the brother of King Viserys I. Daemon was the second husband of Rhaenyra Targaryen, the princess of Dragonstone, following Sir Laenor Valerian. Born as the second son of Prince Balon Targaryen and his wife, Princess Alyssa Targaryen, in 81 AC, during the reign of his grandfather, King Jaehaerys I, he had one older brother, Viserys, as well as one younger brother, Aegon, who died in infancy. Within a fortnight of Daemon's birth, Alyssa took the child flying on Melees. Daemon was free-spirited and adventurous in his youth. At 16, Daemon was knighted, and King Jaehaerys gave him Dark Sister, his sword. In 97 AC, Daemon married Lady Rhea Royce, the heir to Runestone, but he disliked both her and the Vale of Arryn. Daemon referred to his wife as his bronze bitch during the duration of the show before eventually he kills her. During the Great Council of 101 AC, Daemon supported the claim of Prince Viserys as it would make Daemon the heir after his brother. Daemon gathered a small army of sworn swords and men-at-arms when it was rumored that Lord Corlys Valerian was readying a fleet to defend the rights of his son, Laenor Valerian. During the early reign of Viserys I, Sir Criston Cole defeated Daemon twice in the tournament for King Viserys' ascension in 104 AC besting him in the first melee and then the joust. Daemon then asked his brother to set aside his marriage to Rhea Royce, but was refused. Daemon served briefly as Master of Coin from 103 AC until 104 AC, and Master of Laws for six months after that. This bored Daemon, however, and the prince's demeanor made him a rival to the hand of the king, Sir Otto Hightower, who could not stand Daemon's presence and had begged the king to remove him from the small council. Daemon was appointed commander of the City Watch of King's Landing, a position he thrived in and maintained for two years. Although, to Otto's regret, with 2,000 men at his command, he became more powerful than ever. Daemon inspired loyalty with many of the rank of men in the City Watch, improved their armaments and equipment, and gave every man a golden cloak, which led to the guards becoming known as the Gold Cloaks. Crime fell sharply under Daemon's command, likely due to his love of inflicting harsh punishments. Daemon developed a dark reputation in the stews and brothels in Flea Bottom. He became familiar with every whore and gambler. He became acquainted with a prostitute named Miseria, known to her enemies as Misery. While Daemon called herself while Daemon called himself the Prince of the City, he became known as Lord Flea Bottom among the residents of King's Landing. Daemon considered himself to be the heir to Viserys but he had no living sons, and he wanted the title Prince of Dragonstone, which the king refused to grant. Otto Hightower equally did not want Daemon to follow Viserys, and proposed the idea that Viserys' daughter, Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, should be named heir. Viserys did not address the issue of inheritance, hoping a future son would settle the issue. Viserys' first wife, Emma Arryn, died giving birth to Balon Targaryen, Viserys' second son, the first having died in the cradle. Balin died a day after his birth, however. Daemon was observed in a brothel in the period of silk, making drunken japes about the heir for a day. When word of this reached the grieving Viserys, the enraged king had Rhaenyra declare the heir and the princess of Dragonstone, in response to his ungrateful brother's apathy. The furious Daemon resigned from the gold cloaks and flew with Myseria on Caraxes to Dragonstone, and was not present for Rhaenyra's ceremony in the Red Keep. While living on Dragonstone, Daemon impregnated Myseria. He wanted to present her with a dragon egg, but Viserys demanded that Daemon return the egg and return to Rhea in the Vale. Daemon sent Myseria to Lys, but Myseria's ship sailed to a storm in the Narrow Sea, and unfortunately she lost the child. In 106 AC, Daemon and Corlys Valerian, Lord of the Tides, allied together for a private war in the Steppe Stones. 
with Damon desiring his own kingdom and Corlys wanting to rid the Stepstones of rule by the Triarchy. While Corlys provided the Valyrian fleet, Damon flew on his dragon Caraxes and led an army of adventurers and second sons. Damon made many new enemies from Lys, Mer, and Tyrosh, and he slew Kregis Drehar, or also known as Prince Drehar, the crab feeder, in 108 AC. After conquering all but two of the islands, Damon declared himself the king of the Stepstones and the Narrow Sea in 109 AC, being crowned by Coralie's the Sea Snake. The Triarchy launched a massive fleet under Rakilo Rindun to retake the Isles, and Dorne joined the alliance against Damon. Upon returning to court, bored with ruling his kingdom, Damon returned to the capital of King's Landing in 111 AC during the tournament that gave the Greens and the Blacks their names. He reconciled with King Viserys by offering him his stepstone's crown. Viserys welcomed his brother's return, and Damon was given a seat on the small council. Neither age nor exile had changed Damon's nature, however. He took up again with old companions in the city watch and returned to the brothels. Damon was cold with Viserys' second wife, Queen Alicent Hightower, and her children who had pushed him further down the line of succession. Damon spent hours in the company of his niece, Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, praising her beauty and throwing her with tales of his adventures, taking her hawking and mocking her stepmother, Alicent, and her greens. Damon gave her books, pearls, silks, and a jade tiara once owned by the Empress of Lang. Damon and Rhaenyra often flew to Dragonstone on their dragons, Caraxes and Syrax. Six months after Damon's return, the brothers fell out again, with Grandmaster Runciter referring to an unspecified quarrel and others claiming that Alicent wanted Damon gone. Septon Eustace alleged that Damon had seduced Rhaenyra, taking her maidenhood prior to her 16th name day, and that the two had been found by Sir Eric Cargill of the King's Guard. Eustace's tale has Rhaenyra expressing her love for Damon. The notorious mushroom instead claimed that Damon had been providing explicit lessons to the girl in how to seduce her champion, Sir Criston Cole of the King's Guard, whom the girl was supposedly in love with. When Rhaenyra approached Criston, however, he spurned her. Lionel Strong, Lord of Harrenhal, counseled the livid Viserys that Damon should be executed for treason. Eustace, however, reminded the council that the taint of King slang, and Damon was exiled instead. Damon returned to Bloodstone and the Stepstones and resumed his struggle over his barren kingdom. Damon's second wife, Rhea Royce, died from falling from a horse in 115 AC and then Damon killing her after that. Damon abandoned the Stepstones and flew to the Vale of Arryn to claim Runestone, which had been Rhea's seat, but he was refused by House Royce. Sent away from the Vale by Lady Jan Arryn, Damon turned to Driftmark, where he laid eyes upon the enchanting Lena Valerian, the daughter of his friend, Lord Corlys, and he asked the Sea Snake for her hand in marriage. Lena was already betrothed to the son of the late Sea Lord of Bravos, but Damon killed the Bravosi with Dark Sister in a duel. Remember, Dark Sister is his sword. While singers say Damon fell in love with Lena at first sight, others state Damon married into the mighty House Valerian to check his own descent from power as he had been pushed far down the line of succession and made many enemies in his adventures. Because the marriage had been without the consent of King Viserys Targaryen, Daemon and Lena left Westeros for Essos. Mushroom claims the pair went to the ruins of Valyria, but more reliable sources indicate they toured the free cities, visiting Pentos, Volantis, Kor, and Norvos. They returned for some time to Pentos, where they learned that Lena was pregnant causing their daughters Bela and Reyna to be born there in 116 AC. When the twins were half a year old, the family returned to Driftmark. Damon wrote his brother begging leave to present his daughters to the court and receive a royal blessing. The small council advised the king to refuse, but Viserys told Grand Maester Melos, Damon is a father now, he will have changed. Viserys' daughter, Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, was wed to Lena's brother, Sir Laenor Valerian. While Rhaenyra disliked her stepmother, Queen Alicent Hightower, she became fond of Lena, 
and the two often flew together on their dragons. With the blessing of King Viserys, Rhaenyra betrothed her two eldest sons, Jaceres and Lucerys Valerian, to Bela and Rhaena. Lena died in 120 AC, the year of the Red Spring, trying to birth a son who died as well. Later that year, Lanor was killed in Spicetown by his companion, Sir Carl Cory, according to Mushroom. It was Daemon who arranged the death of Lanor by paying Carl to kill him. In House of the Dragon, however, it's shown that Lanor faked his death, but this account is strictly from Mushroom. Lionel Strong, Lord of Harrenhal, and his heir, Sir Harwin, died in a fire in Harrenhal in 120 AC. Since Harwin Breakbones was believed to by some to have the actual father of Rhaenyra's children with Laenor, Septon Eustace counted Daemon as one of the possible suspects for the mysterious fire. In 120 AC, at the age of 39, Daemon married again, this time to his niece, Rhaenyra Targaryen, the 23-year-old Princess of Dragonstone. This marriage was performed suddenly without the knowledge of King Viserys, and was scandalous, since neither Lena nor Laenor Valerian, Rhaenyra's previous husband, had been dead for six months. Daemon and Rhaenyra had two sons together, Prince Aegon the Younger, born in 120 AC, and Prince Viserys, born in 122 AC. In 126 AC, Rhaenyra urged the ill Lord Corlys Valerian to name as his heir her second son. Lucerys Valerian, when Corley's nephew, Sir Vaymond Valerian, objected and claimed that Rhaenyra's first three children had been fathered by Sir Harwin Strong. Rhaenyra, and Vaym Rhaenyra had Vaymond seized by Daemon, beheaded, and then fed to Syrax. In 129 AC, King Viserys Targaryen finally passed away from his leprosy, which led to the outbreak of the Dance of the Dragons. While Viserys had previously decreed Daemon's wife, Rhaenyra Targaryen, Princess of Dragonstone, to be his heir, the Greens kept the king's death a secret from Dragonstone. Sir Otto Hightower, the father of Queen Alicent Hightower, objected to the idea of Daemon as king consort, and Sir Criston Cole claimed that Rhaenyra and Daemon would turn the Red Keep into a brothel. Criston crowned Alicent's son, Aegon the Elder, as King Aegon II Targaryen. Meanwhile, on Dragonstone, Rhaenyra gave birth to a stillborn daughter, Princess Visenya. Rhaenyra blamed the child's death on the Greens. During the meeting of the Black Council, Daemon advised that the Blacks should court the Great Houses, who had not yet announced their support for Aegon II. During Rhaenyra's rival coronation on Dragonstone, Daemon placed the crown of King Jaehaerys I Targaryen, which had been smuggled from the capital by Sir Stephen Darklin, on the head of his wife proclaiming her queen and claiming himself protector of the realm. The experienced Daemon led the assault on Harrenhal, capturing the ruined castle from its castellan, Sir Simon Strong, without conflict by landing Caraxes on top of King Spire Tower. Daemon's victory allowed the Riverlands to rise up in support of Rhaenyra. Daemon later led the taking of Stonehenge from the Greens. After hearing of the death of his stepson, Prince Lucerys Valerian, at the hands of his nephew, Prince Aemon Targaryen at Storm's End, Daemon, through his former mistress Myseria, hired blood and cheese to infiltrate the Red Keep, and the two murdered Prince Jaehaerys, a son of Aegon II. The enemies made by Daemon during his earlier adventures came back to haunt the Blacks, when Sir Otto Hightower, now the Hand of the King of Aegon II, recruited the Triarchy to send a fleet against them. The Battle of the Gullet broke the Valerian blockade of Blackwater Bay and killed Daemon's stepson, Jaehaerys. Daemon abandoned Harrenhal when Aemon and Criston began marching on the Great Castle with a host of Greens. Instead, Daemon flew Caraxes to the capital and assisted Rhaenyra with the fall of King's Landing to the Blacks. Daemon's lover, Myseria, became mistress of Whisperers, but all in all, name. While Lord Corley's Valerian suggested peace with their enemies and pardons for the Greens, Rhaenyra and Daemon were more bellicose and vengeful. Rhaenyra sent Daemon and Nettles on their dragons, Caraxes and Sheepstealer to search the Trident for Aemon and Vagar, who were burning the Riverlands, making Maidenpool their base. Daemon kept Nettles, a 17-year-old dragon seed, by his side at all times.
Mushroom claims that Damon took Nettles into his bed as his lover. Maester Norrin, on the other hand, wrote that Damon treated the bastard girl as if she was his daughter, teaching her courtesies and giving her useful gifts. Rhaenyra was shocked by the betrayals of the two dragon seeds, Sir Hugh Hammer and Sir Ulf White, at the first battle of Tumbleton, and Maseria informed the queen that Nettles was sharing Damon's bed. Rhaenyra sent word to Lord Manfred Mouton, Damon's host at Maidenpool, that Nettles should be killed. Manfred was reluctant to act on that order, and when Norrin showed the letter to Damon, the prince replied, A queen's words, a whore's work. Damon thanked the maester for the warning, and a tearful Nettles was allowed to safely disappear on Sheep Stealer the next morning. On the same day, Damon publicly announced his departure for Harrenhal. The arrival of Damon on Caraxes sent squatters fleeing from Harrenhal, so the prince waited for Aemond in solitude. Each evening at dusk, he slashed the castle's heart tree, a weirwood in the godswood. On the fourteenth day of Damon's waiting, Aemond arrived on Vagar with his paramour, Alis Rivers. While the two dragons grappled in the battle above the god's eye, Damon leapt from his saddle and drove Dark Sister into Aemond's blind eye. Both dragons crashed into God's Eye, with Caraxes crawling to the shore before dying. The bodies of Aemon and Vagar were discovered in the lake years later. Damon's body was never found, but historians are convinced he died there as well. However, since Damon's body was never recovered, singers say that he lived to spend the rest of his days in secret with nettles. Damon never achieved his ambition to sit on the Iron Throne. Though, his sons Aegon III and Viserys II eventually did. In 170 AC, Princess Dana Targaryen named her bastard son, Daemon Waters, after her grandfather. And there is a legend that the 13 slashes made by Daemon on the Weirwood of Harrenhal are said to bleed every spring. So, that is what I got on Prince Daemon Targaryen. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel by watching this video. I will be making more very shortly. Um, and I had a lot of fun with this one, and I look forward to all the ones coming eventually. So, what is your favorite Game of Thrones or a House of the Dragon character? What's their lore? What's their background? Should I make a video about it? Please let me know that as well, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, later!